through violent earthquakes and floods, in a single day and night of misfortune. The whole race was swallowed by the earth and the island of Atlantis disappeared into the depths of the sea. Dash Plato perhaps the greatest archaeological discovery of the history of humanity would be the discovery of the city lost continent of Atlantis, described by Plato in his famous work entitled Dialogues. According to Plato, the story of Atlantis was passed to him by his grandfather, who in turn heard the story of ancient Atlantis of an Athenian politician named Solon, who learned about the existence of Atlantis from an Egyptian priest who said Atlantis existed 9,000 years ago. Since Plato mentions the incredible city continent for the first time, theories about the location and the existence of Atlantis have been proposed by many researchers worldwide. While many people firmly believe that Atlantis is somewhere hidden under the vast oceans of our planet, there are those who believe that Atlantis could actually be Antarctica while others believe that Atlantis was part of the Minoan civilization or located somewhere in the Bermuda Triangle. However, some believe that Atlantis is there, located where Plato described the site of the ancient city continent, beyond the pillars of Hercules and the ocean of Atlas is Atlantis rich in wisdom, power and wealth. A great power which unprovoked made an expedition against the whole of Europe and Asia. This power went out in the Atlantic Ocean from an island opposite the strait are called by you the Pillars of Hercules. Plato's Timaeus, translated by Benjamin Jowett B.J. to date, there has been no solid evidence supporting this mythical city ever existed. However, in the following video you can see a mysterious formation at the bottom of the seabed formations that are not seen as natural formations. Is not this the place? where the mighty empire of Atlantis ever existed? According to the video, at a depth of over 4,500 meters, are the remains of the mythical city of Atlantis. You can check the alleged sunken city, by entering the following coordinates in Google Earth, 31, 24, 25, 58 and 24, 32, 09, 08W. There is a series of mysterious straight lines, forming intricate geometric patterns, which in the opinion of many, indicate the presence of hidden structures in the depths of the ocean floor. However, there is a small problem with the discovery. In all the stories about Atlantis, Plato described the ancient city-state, as composed of several rings and not a series of straight lines, as shown in the video. 117 D and after crossing the three external ports, 117 E1 finds a wall, that starts at sea and runs in a circle, at a uniform 50 stadia circle in the largest port distance, and their ends converge, in the mouth of the canal offshore assembly this wall had numerous houses built on it, close together, while the way of the sea and the largest port were full of ships and traders who came from everywhere for reasons of their multitude caused clamor and tumult of all kinds and incessant Blair night and day dash Krish's Plato, translations by R. G. Berry. From the translation, we understand that Atlantis was, in fact, a wall that completely surrounded the mythical ancient city, with a number of additional circles with a diameter of about 5 kilometers. But if the coordinates of Google Earth does not show the lost city of Atlantis, is it possible that we are seeing another lost city? Worldwide, there are numerous sunken cities that have recently been discovered. One of the most notable is the ancient city of Heraklion. It was like Atlantis, was believed to be a myth until its discovery. The ancient city of Heraklion was known by many philosophers of ancient Greece, including Herodotus, who referred to this ancient city in several of his writings, despite the existence of this city was not proven until the 19th century. Among the Egyptians and the Greeks, the city is known as Heraklion Perthonis. Many large cities like Heraklion, Alexandria and Canoops were destroyed by catastrophic natural disasters, so it is not unlikely that the coordinates are showing us the remains of a lost city. 
But what if the coordinates on Google Earth show no sunken city? What if the mysterious geometric patterns are nothing at all? In February 2009, Popo.com published an interesting article regarding the anomalous geometric pattern seen in Google Earth, unmasking the alleged discovery. According to the article, Walter Smith, of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and David Sandwell of the Scripps Institute of Oceanography of the United States they believe that the marks are actually trails created during Equus Sounder. However, many others do not seem to agree with this theory, saying that there are many other complex geometric shapes found on the ocean floor of our planet that seem to indicate the presence of prehistoric structures pre-Diluvian, who were exterminated in the distant past by enormous catastrophic flooding.